everyone, it's Anastasia from Reamer Family Farm here. We're standing out here with the turkeys today. Um, I wanted to give you an inside look at how we raise the Thanksgiving turkeys out on pasture. They just got moved to this paddock yesterday. So like all of the animals on our farm, we use rotational grazing practices to take care of these guys and to take care of the soil. When we first get these guys, they're in the brooder. Um, we get them as one day old chicks. And the brooder is pretty much an enclosed garage-like space um, where we have heat lamps and kind of a controlled area. It keeps them safe from predators and they also don't have their feathers in quite yet. When they're chicks, they just have that downy, um, fluffy material. So they can't regulate their temperatures um, quite yet. So that's why we keep them in the brooder with the heat lamps and we keep them in there for a couple of weeks um, before they're old enough to come out on the pasture. When they're bigger like this, they're less tempting to predators and they can keep themselves warm and cool, things like that. But once they're out on the pasture here, we have a few basic things, right? So they are eating the grass. They eat the grass just like um, everyone else on our farm, but they are not ruminants, which means that they need more than just the pasture to keep themselves um, growing healthy and vibrant. Birds, just like the birds at your feeders, need seeds and grain to grow and live. Um, that's what they eat in the wild also. So you'll see there's little gray feeders out and about. Those are, whew, those are their, um, free range feeders. Sorry, I've got Leo here with me. <laughs> he just finished eating his breakfast. Um, so they have free choice of whether they want to graze on the pasture or if they want grain. Um, it's up to them. As you can see, most of them are choosing the pasture right now. And behind us, this green tank and the, the white one here are water tanks. So the next question is this guy. Why is Leo out here with the turkeys? In the past, we had a little bit of a predator issue and it took us a long while to figure out what it was. Um, and you know, you always think it's raccoons or whatever. Um, it actually turned out to be owls. Here on our farm, um, we're trying to work with nature, have everything coexist because we need the wildlife too, right? It helps take care of the land just as much as we do. So we didn't want to be eradicating predators. So instead, we employed Leo to be the livestock guardian dog of the um, turkey flock out here. He used to be our porch dog, now he works, but he doesn't mind it. Um, he's here to keep these guys safe, primarily at night. Um, he'll bark and chase off, scare off any predators so that the turkeys can grow and and live in peace and not worry about um, predators. There's something else I want to show you. You can see the electric netting all around. Um, that's how we designate their paddock. The turkeys kind of use it as a visual barrier. Um, Leo uses it as his boundary too. Um, and it's primarily designed to help Leo keep predators out. And when we move them to the next paddock, we'll move that electric fencing so they know then where to graze. It's just a shelter for them to sleep in at night. Um, again, keeping them safe from owls and other predators. That's what these wagons are for as well. And while we're going out here, I just wanted to show you how effective these guys are at grazing and helping take care of the soil here. Just like the cattle with the rotational grazing, the idea is that they are um, eating the food and pooping it. So they're fertilizing while they're grazing and that stimulates the plants to put down more roots to grow more, which breaks up the soil and the, the bit of forage that they don't eat that they compact down instead, um, mixed in with that fertilizer will um, turn into more soil growth. You can see this is where they just were yesterday. And you can kind of tell by looking there um, where they've eaten and fertilized, trampled down. It's pretty well cleared. Um, so that will now have the rest of the season to rest, to regrow. 
and be untouched until next year. So these guys will continue to live out here like this um, until harvest day comes. You can see that they're pretty happy out here. Um, we're happy to have them. They're really neat creatures and they live good, happy lives out here, which is what we're trying to do. Give them a good life and help build the soil and take care of the land here as well. So if you have any questions, please let me know. You can visit our website for more information on Thanksgiving turkeys, as well as our special collection of value added products like ground turkeys, drumsticks, bone broth, and more. Thank you everyone. Have a wonderful day.